If you think musical modes are beyond you, and if you shrink with dread and fear when you hear the names of them, Lydian, Ionian, Mixolydian, Dorian, Aeolian, Phrygian, and Locrian, well, modes are a great way to create musical moods unavailable through major and minor keys. They're not actually that complicated and are related to each other in really cool ways. In this video, you're going to get your ear inside the seven most common modes, two of which you probably already know. So you can start improvising and composing in them right away. We're going to focus our attention on the sound of these things rather than the intellectual analysis. It's music, after all, made only of sound, so our perception must come before our rational knowledge. I'm Hans at TuneIndigo.com. Let's dive in. In holistic ear training, we always anchor our perception of a thing through the lens of a specific song, a model song. Model songs are pieces of music that feature the musical element you are learning, and once you get the sound of the model in your bones, it transforms what you are learning from something that could have been abstract and unattainable into something concrete and integrated into your unique perspective and experience. Model songs can be as simple as Twinkle Twinkle Little Star or as complex as Bartok's Concerto for Orchestra as long as they feature the musical pattern, interval, or chord that you were trying to internalize. Now, if you want to create and use your own model song, do it. Check out my video that guides you through creating your own original model you can use to internalize stuff from within your own personal style. A model for the modes needs only to include each note in the major scale at least one time. You'll see why as we go through the modes. For now, our model song is an old round called White Coral Bells. It goes like this. White coral bells upon a slender stalk Lilies of the valley deck my garden walk Oh, how I wish that I could hear them ring That will only happen when the fairies sing That's the whole song. It's a round. It's got two verses, two little phrases, and you might have noticed that the melody happens the same exact way twice, going like this. And then that happens again. Now, we are going to use solfege as our master key to unlock these seven modes. That will allow you to have an understanding that is singable so that you can express your understanding of music with music. Nothing we are going to discuss is abstract. It's all available to you right now, whether you don't read music, play an instrument, or even know the names of the notes. So the first step is to sing the song in solfege like this. Do, ti, la, so, mi, fa, la, so, fa, mi. Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, do, mi, re, ti, do. Do, ti, la, so, mi, fa, la, so, fa, mi. Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, do, mi, re, ti, do. There are two ways to experience modes or to perceive them or to talk about them. And it is very helpful to understand what they, what these two ways are. One is where you describe the modes like this. Thus and such a mode starts on thus and such a step of the major scale. For example, the Lydian mode is just the major scale starting on the fourth note. And that's true that each of the modes share the same basic DNA so that you could take one set of notes and have seven scales. That's really cool. And it's true that each of the modes share the same basic DNA so that you can take one set of notes and have seven scales. That's really cool and part of the magic of music. But it does miss a big part of the picture, even though it's correct. Another way to describe modes is like this. Thus and such a mode is the major scale with thus and such notes changed. 
that misses a big part of the picture as well, even though it's correct. To really understand the Mohs, you are going to want to understand them from both perspectives. So let's listen to white choral bells played only on white notes in each of the seven modes using the seven no- same seven notes. We'll call this the relative way because it uses the same seven notes, the same family of relatives for each mode, but with different emphases that make them sound distinct. So we've got the major scale like this. This is how you heard it already. Do, ti, la, so, mi, fa, la, so, fa, mi. Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, do, mi, re, ti, do. Now I'm going to walk down five notes in the scale using the same notes. Now we've got the Lydian scale. Here's the Lydian scale, starting on the fourth note of the major scale. Fa, mi, re, do, la, ti, re, do, ti, la. Fa, la, so, ti, la, do, fa, la, so, mi, fa. So that's the Lydian scale, starting on the fourth note of the scale. It is true. Now we're going to come back to major, and we'll just do a little quick review of the major scale, which is also called the Ionian mode. Do, ti, la, so, mi, fa, la, so, fa, mi. Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, do, mi, re, ti, do. Now we're going to walk up the scale five notes. Same notes, one, two, three, four, five. So now we're going to use the same notes and the same melodic shape, but it's going to sound a little bit different because it's going to go like this. Here's the mixolydian starting on the fifth note of the major scale. Sol, fa, mi, re, ti, do, mi, re, do, ti. Do ti re so ti la fa so. Now we're going to walk up five notes from the fifth note of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, which takes us to the second note of the major scale, re, which is our first mode that's got a minor like quality. And it sounds like this. Re, do, ti, la, fa, so, ti, la, so, fa. Re, fa, mi, so, fa, la, re, fa, mi, do, re. Now we're going to go five more. One, two, three, four, five. Still using all the same notes, but now we're starting on La, which has a minor triad that's built on top of it, and, and, the same as the natural minor scale that you may be familiar with. It's also called the Aeolian mode, and it starts on La in this case. La, so, fa, mi, do, re, fa, mi, re, do. La, do, ti, re, do, mi, la, do, ti, so, la. And now we're going to walk up five more steps. One, two, three, four, five. Which takes us to the third note of the scale, mi. And we have a minor triad that's built on mi. Here it is in the Phrygian mode, starting on the third note of the scale. Notice how it changes and how it sounds different each time, even though I'm using the same notes. Mi, re, do, ti, so, la, do, ti, la, so. Mi, so, fa, la, so, ti, mi, so, fa, re, mi. Now, it won't surprise you, I'm going to walk up five more steps. One, two, three, 
four, five. To take us to the seventh note of the scale, T, and it has a diminished triad built on top of it. So this really has got an interesting sound. This is the Locrian mode. So here's white coral bells sung in solfege in the Locrian mode. T, La, So, Fa, Re, Mi, So, Fa, Mi, Re. Re do mi re fa ti re do la ti, and then of course if we go up five more, one two three four five, it takes us back to the Lydian mode where we began, and then we can walk up five more, and we end up back in the major scale. Now, you might have noticed that I'm not telling you what kinds of moods these create. That is up to you to decide. You want to marinate, listen to this music, listen to your own music, be creative, and decide for yourself what kinds of moods these modes created. We might find that we hear things in similar ways, but you've got your own imagination to engage. So that was the relative way to walk through the modes. Starting in a major key, going up a fifth, five steps each time, using the same notes and playing the same relative melody shape within those same notes. And you can practice this uh, by playing different melodies on the piano in different modes, simply sustaining one of the notes in the scale as a drone with one hand, and then make melodies with your right hand that begin and end on that note. Now let's go through the modes the parallel way. This is where we think of the modes as starting and ending on the same note. They all start and end on Do in this case. And we're going to consider them as either being a major scale with some change or the minor scale with some change. Now, why are we singing all this stuff in Solfege? Solfege is going to get this these ideas glued to your mind. I might say sharp four, but what we're really going to do is say, instead of fa, we're going to sing fi. So you're going to hear some new sounding solfege syllables, which are going to encapsulate and communicate to you what's happening in the scale. You'll pick it up as we go along. And if you're interested, shoot a comment down below and I'll make another video about chromatic solfege. Here it is once again in the major scale, starting and ending on do, sung in solfege. Do, ti, la, so, mi, fa, la, so, fa, mi, do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, do, mi, re, ti, do. Now, for starters, we're going to raise fa. Do, re, mi, fa. We're going to raise fa up a half step to fi. And so now we've got... And we can sing white coral bells in solfege like this. Do, ti, la, so, mi, fi, la, so, fi, mi. Do, mi, re, fi, mi, so, do, mi, re, ti, do. And then we can lower that. The fi can return to fa. And we can sing it again in major. Do, ti, la, so, mi, fa, la, so, fa, mi. Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, do, mi, re, ti, do. Now we are going to lower T, the seventh note of the scale, to te. So instead of the major scale, we have the mixolydian scale. White coral bells sounds like this in the Mixolydian scale. Do te la so mi fa la so fa mi. Do mi re fa mi so do mi re te do. We have the major scale. It goes do re mi fa so la ti. 
it now goes. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do. So we've lowered our seventh note to from a major seventh from the root to a minor seventh. So we've lowered T to a half step lower, T. And we can sing the song like this. Do, te, la, so, mi, fa, la, so, fa, mi. Do, mi, re, fa, mi, so, do, mi, re, te, do. So we've got that lowered seventh. Going on, we're going to keep that seventh note lowered. So T has now permanently turned into te. And we're going to take mi, and we're going to lower that guy down a half step and make it me, which is our minor third. So instead of going do, re, mi, we're going to go do, re, me, like that. Gives us a minor quality. So we can now start to think of these as being alterations of the minor scale. In this case, this new mode is the minor scale with a raised sixth. Of course, you can also think it, think of it as the major scale with the lowered seventh, te, and the lowered third, me. And all wild and white choral bells in the Dorian mode, as we now have it, sounds like this. Do, te, la, so, me, fa, la, so, fa, me. Do, me, re, fa, me, so, do, me, re, te, do. Now we're gonna we're gonna take that la and we're gonna lower that. So instead of do re me fa so la, we're going to have do re me fa so le like that. And white coral bells in solfege with 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 in the Aeolian or natural minor mode sounds like this. Do, te, le, so, me, fa, le, so, fa, me. Do, me, re, fa, me, so, do, me, re, te, do. Moving on, we can now change the Aeolian, the natural minor scale, to the Phrygian scale simply by taking that same scale and lowering one note, the second note. So it, instead of going from do to re, we're going to go do to ra. All right. So we've got a lowered second. So you can think of the Phrygian mode as being a minor scale with the lowered two. Hmm. And it sounds, white coral bells in this sounds like this. Do, te, le, so, me, fa, le, so, fa, me. Do, me, ra, fa, me, so, do, me, ra, te, do. There's one more. There's one more scale to cover, which is the Locrian mode. And we get that if we, instead of going do, ra, me, fa, so, instead of that, we sing like this. Do, re, me, fa, se. So we have this diminished triad as the one chord. Which is crazy, but it sounds pretty cool. Here's white coral bells sung on the Locrian mode, like this. Do te le se me fa le se fa me do me ra fa me se do me ra te do. 
the only scale that has a diminished triad as the one chord, as the home chord, as the place of rest. I don't know about you, but this is a tough place to stay. If you feel like you're starting to get the idea, you're getting the sound in your mind, and you want a resource to help you fully internalize these sounds into your long-term memory, check out my video where I present white choral bells in each mode with different musical accompaniments and beats to make going through it a little more palatable. And if this video helped you, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, or better, a question. Thank you so much.